So now what we want to do is start thinking about the hypothesis test. How could we work with the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient in hypothesis testing? Now you might think, OK, well, it's going to be very similar to the product moment correlation coefficient hypothesis test. And essentially, you'd be right. OK, they are quite similar. However, the way that they're worded is subtly different and the way it's set out. OK, so let's discuss uh, what those differences are. Now, first of all, the PMCC hypothesis test starts with let rho be the population correlation coefficient between the two variables. And you write that in context. However, with Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, we're not having, we don't have an underlying population. So there is no rho. And so we don't write an initial statement defining rho. There's no point. There is none. OK, so Spearman's rank correlation coefficient hypothesis testing goes straight in to the null hypothesis. OK, now because there's no rho, we can't just write down rho equals zero because rho doesn't exist. So the null hypothesis must be written as a statement and must be written as a sentence, I'm afraid. OK, so um, when we are, because we know that Spearman's rank is really talking about association in general, because correlation, remember, just deals with linear association, while at, whereas Spearman's rank can deal with data that is nonlinear. So we must talk about association here rather than correlation, um, even though Correlations in the name, which seems which might feel a little bit odd, but we must talk about association and not correlation. So our null hypothesis will always be the same, okay, with the hypothesis tests that we do, and we state there is no association between da, 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 the two variables. OK, and we must write that in context. So if it's um, between the scores of the two judges, for example, or between the scores of judge A and judge B. Now, there are three alternative hypotheses that we can work with in exactly the same, exactly the same way sorry, as there are three alternative hypotheses for the PMCC as well. So the first one is that there is some positive association. There is some positive association between, and in context, so the scores of the two judges. Now, notice how we're talking about some positive association, OK, um, rather than there is a positive association. So just be a little bit careful with the wording. Alternatively, there is some negative association between. OK, now both of those would be one tail tests. And finally, we can state there is some association. Don't know whether it's positive or negative, but there is some association between the two variables. So that would be our two tail test. OK, so we've got these two one-tail tests and we've got the two-tail test. Now, how would the PMCC hypothesis test go on from there? Um, well, uh, the next thing is that we would calculate our critical value. Um, we would have a significance level given to us in the question. So remember, the significance level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when, in fact, it is true.
Okay, so the significance level, that is, is its definition, regardless of the type of hypothesis test that you are working with. So we have, we'll have an n, uh, a number of our bits of data, and then we will go to the formula booklet, to page 12. And instead of looking at the left-hand side, we're going to look at the right-hand side. So it tells you at the top critical values for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, and you read these off in precisely the same way as you did with the PMCC ones. So you've got one tail and two tail test at the top, you go along to the significance level, and then you go down to the correct n value, and then you read off your critical value. Okay, and we would write that down. That is the value that we would compare against our uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient that we would, would already have calculated, okay, in, in maybe the part A of the question. So let's say, for argument's sake, let's say the critical value was 0.4464. Okay, so 0 0.4464, that's minus 1 and that's 1, be there, 0 0.4464, and let's say that's my critical region. Uh, if the value of RS I've calculated is here, let's say, so RS is 0 0.523, then my... Uh, my correlation coefficient is inside the critical region. It's greater than 0.4464. So that would mean that the result is significant. So that means we can reject the null hypothesis. And so the conclusion in context would be saying in this case, if it was a one-tailed test, um, there is evidence to suggest that there is some positive association between the two judges' scores, okay, for example. So it works in a very similar way to the PMCC hypothesis test. Once you get past here, um, essentially your layout should be identical. Uh, the only difference is that is that first bit is that we don't have to define rho, because there is no rho, and the null and alternative hypotheses must be in statements, okay, in sentences. Okay, that's the difference. And we're talking about association here rather than correlation.